What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have a Mecha Godzilla drawing using his atomic breath. So incredibly detailed drawing, take your time, use pencil and eraser definitely for this because there's lots of sort of nuts and bolts and sort of angles and stuff. And he's got, he's in a pose where he's got his sort of two hands in the air and he's screaming and there's some breath coming out. Some of that laser, that red laser, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm on landscape orientation paper. As I said, use a pencil and eraser for this and hit pause if I go too fast, right? When I move my hand, because I'll have to move quite quick because it's quite complicated drawn. So I'm gonna zoom in. So center point of my page is about here. His head is up in the top half. So we're just gonna zoom up to his head up here, okay? Okay, so we've got this um, sort of bump for his brow, I'd say like the top of his head and his eyebrow, and it sort of curves around and comes back this way. It comes down the back of his head here. Down to there. And this curves around just a bit more down here. And then it goes up like so. Right, so then this piece of armor that's on the top of his head, so it comes diagonal down this way. And then we bring it a bit further down here. We change direction and go down this way and out to there. So it's like another sort of angle line here. And then another sort of line on the bottom of it here. So lots of these detail lines on Mechagodzilla. And then another line at the back here. So then we have a line that becomes sort of his jaw coming out from here, right? So it just goes diagonal, sort of this way. And then this starts to travel up towards his mouth. So it'll go sort of this way, right? So this becomes kind of his snout. And then we have those sort of teeth that kind of stick off, right? So we've got these bumps for sort of teeth here. And we make them sort of 3D looking a little bit. So we just add a sort of an edge to them here. And we go up again. And we add another one kind of sticking off here. And then this one comes up for the top of his head, for the top of his snout here. And this comes diagonal over this way. And then bring this down like so. And then back into here underneath towards this tooth, back this way. And then this goes sort of down like so. We got like an extra sort of inside line here. Like so. And then, so we have an edge sort of line here. And back down into there. This top of his snout has this sort of square sort of shape on top of it. And this has little boxes and things sticking off as well. Like another sort of angle line here. And like a tooth or something sticking off the side here. So, so this is like the front of his face. There's all like lines and stuff coming 
I'll zoom it here. Right, so before we move on, we'll just add his eye and sort of stuff inside here, right? So for his eye, you just do a sort of a, a circle. And this has another circle sort of here. And then we have some sort of angle lines around it. And just color them in dark. Just there. And then, so from his brow, so we've got like some more lines that come across the top of this eye. And go down the back. And then another one here. some more lines like around his eye so I'm sort of simplifying this now I'm not doing every little sort of thing so there's just like lots of these sorts of metal plate lines is the best way I can describe them You can put some dots for bolts and stuff like this. Like so, right? So then his jaw on this side, right? So See, so we go down, we'll bring it around here. So we've got this sort of round sort of place. So up, and then this goes back in, up into here. And then the inside section of this goes up, steps in, goes back up there. Another sort of angle line there edge lines just trying to make them look a little bit 3d and then there's like a couple of circles here so i'm kind of just um making up these sort of lines right now. I'm sort of I'm copying the picture a little bit but you know I'm just kind of adding sort of plates and angles and stuff like this right and then we have another sort of jaw line that comes back here back up and meets his head and you can add some lines on it as well and then the bottom of his jaw, so it comes out and down this way. And every now and then we're going to step down, right? So we're going to like step down across. Step down, across, step down. So these are all these bumps that are on the bottom of his jaw. Come across. So we have a tooth kind of here, tooth kind of here. There, tooth. So we put one here. So we're just trying to make these sort of boxes kind of bigger, sort of look like they're 
3D, just having some edges to them. And then we'll go add some teeth coming along this side as well of his mouth. So lots of angles and stuff. So we have one here. Comes down. Try and make it a bit 3D looking. Like so. And there's some more smaller ones here. This and then his jaw then comes up and in to his face here. And then we might have some more angle lines like so, and boxes and stuff along the bottom like this. Like so. Right, so that's his bottom jaw. Right, so then the side of his face, right, so it kind of connects up to the top up here. And inside, then we have those ridges and poles and stuff like this, right? So we'll just go down the side of his face first. So let's see, so we'll go. Down to there, mouth goes in, angle there. And then we have another one here, another sort of jaw box area with an angle on it, like so. And then we have some lines along the side there. And then this comes down like this, steps down, step down again around to the side and into his face. And then this has more angles like this coming up. Like that. And so he's got kind of a tongue, right? So it like curves back here, right? And then we got like these lines that come up the center. Right? So we'll say we have a line that comes down like that. So it's kind of like a tongue, right? Except that these have all curved lines on it. Like so, okay, so this sort of pattern. And he has that up here as well. So that it kind of follows this edge, comes all the way back to the back of his throat, and kind of bumps here. Right, like so. And then we have these pipes that sort of hold on, like these tubes that keep his mouth together. Just there. 
and then two more on this side so like one coming down so here another one in behind there and i think there's like another tooth or a box or something here lots of boxes on this guy and they have like a bolt or something attached to them <clears throat> like here like a little box and back here is like mostly colored in dark apart from um this sort of what would you say like these sort of glowing red sort of lines at the back of his throat back there and then the rest is like dark black in shadow all right so we'll move down now and then do some of his neck so Let's see, so we have like a plate at the back of his skull here, and then we have like his neckline kind of coming down this way. Down to there, in the front of his neck on this side. Comes down a sort of a jaggedy sort of line. So, nice. And then, so, coming down. So we have some lines coming down here. And then some more like coming across. There, underneath his jaw. This has some lines on it. And then there's like some tubes in here connecting his neck, joining his neck together. Like so, and then, so we seem to have another one down across, down across to there. Some more kind of connector tubes and things. Down here, and there's like some bolts on the neck. then coming down here so we got like some fins or something on the back of his neck these sorts of neck lines on the back here these have sort of lines on them as well like so and then some diagonal lines coming from them going this way Then we have another neck plate just here. Again, this can have some lines on it. Some pipes coming down. Like so. Like in between, you know, you'll have some sort of shadowy areas, just some dark So like the center line for his chest, okay, so he's got like this chest plate here
this has a line that goes back right up towards his neck like here like so right and then there might be chest and then we have like another piece of armor or something here maybe in there and then we just shadow it up okay so from this top chest plate then we have some ribs right and they curve down so one here and they come down the side of his body So, and then we have a square sort of chest plate here, bolt on it. And so these are kind of ribs, right? There. Again, they have angles and lines on them. Kind of the same thing over this side. So it like comes out here, steps up, and we have another one, step up, another one, step up, and then this one comes up close to the top. His stomach sort of comes down this way right so his trunk of his body and then this one comes down this way as well and then we seem to have another armor plate here the bolt in it then another one here so lots of these are sort of just filled with armor there and then so we have another sort of turtle shell like area in here curves around Down. this part goes up into there and then so this is all like divided up with lines like this something like this anyway and then this has some more lines coming down here and these are divided up again like so and then in here we have sort of ballistic missiles or something like 
place so these rectangles so incredibly detailed now so I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can but with Mechagodzilla you kind of have to draw a lot of these Each of these is where his missiles come out. Like that. And then we have a bit of a box on the bottom. And these then go back further. bottom to them here where there's shadow, where they're sticking out. All right, okay, so. So then his back, sort of here, All right? So, sort of another sort of armor plate here. And then we have his back, and these are like sort of squares. Coming down here. Another sort of plate of armor here. And then this has, you know, lots of details inside, boxes, rectangles, lines coming off. So, and then in here we have like ribs, so. And then these squares. Starts of his shoulder here. Like I'd say what you would call his armpit or something. So he's an arm sticking off here. And then so the rest of his back, so we have this sort of bumping. sort of area coming down this way. Each of these is a plate. And they have nuts and bolts and things on them. some sort of armor plate on his back here as well. It comes back up underneath his arm. This kind of joins his armpit somewhere here. Then we have those fins that come off his back, sticking out here. So we're getting there now, it's starting to make a bit more sense, I guess. Again, 
some squares and rectangles and things along this. Like so. Right, so then for the shoulder, so we have like a big part that comes up here. And this will have some triangular sections sort of going off into his shoulder here. Comes down and kind of joins this area. And some lines coming across. There. And some more plates coming up here and then this comes up towards the neck up and then it will go pretty curved over down to there and it like meets his arm which is here but again there's like extra sort of lines and boxes and things here So, to there. So I know I'm going pretty fast here now, but there is a lot. And there's like another plate back here. Another box here. And then another triangular area. So you're like sticking out here, the one here. And some more plates and stuff here with lines on them. All right, like that. So kind of trying to just build it up bit by bit in a way that makes a little bit of sense, but to the overall structure you know but again it's extremely difficult to get everything just adding more plates here for his arm and then he does have some plates in here as well so a triangular sort of one here some more comes back this way down to there so down and up do 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 cross down to there like so and then we bring it across up to there and some more lines here and like circles and shadows and things all in his neck and stuff so say so like some more lines coming back this way some of these could be shadow around his neck and around these sorts of areas in here. All right, keep going, don't stop, don't give up. So we got some pipes coming across to the front of his chest here. Never give up, never surrender. Another one, another plate here, plates inside. This comes down this way. And some more lines inside here. I think this is mostly shadow now.
there and then right so that's that pipe line there and then there's another triangular sort of plate here and that meets some tubes that go like underneath here tubes going across underneath these they're pretty close together so there and then this plate has like angles on it I think these are all mainly tubes now, just some coming across here. And then there's all just shadow in between them. And so we'll just color in in between, just make it look a bit dark inside. Okay, right, so let's just power through. So, right, so his arm, okay? So he's big, he's got a big, a big arm sort of coming right down here, right? And this sort of has a circular sort of bolted area at the bottom of the arm. And then this is gonna go back. So it's got like a big bolt here or something. And then this is going to travel back into his arm back this way. And it has like oh, bits of bumps and things coming off back here, like rectangles and squares and things sticking out of it. Right, coming around here. And then the sort of bicep area, what you would call a bicep area anyway, here. It's back down into the arm this way. And so then these has all, this has all tubes that go towards here. And then, yeah, another one like here. cylinders and things and some tubes in here and some shadow in between them. Right and then this has like some you know, some boxes and things. Some more lines running this way for the tops and the bottoms of them. So as you can see, ridiculously complicated stuff. So I hope this is helping someone <laughs> because, you know, it's very difficult to give a tutorial on Mecha Godzilla because he's like so detailed. Put some more shadow in here. Right, and then so the bottom of his arm has like these round sort of rectangular sort of shapes on them. Round rectangular, they're like curve around, right? And they go up to there. They have lines on them and stuff. Like this, and then this goes up. Down to there. And then, so we have a line on the edge, it goes up into here. This has another line and it goes down a couple of times like this and then angles back up to there. And 
like so. And then we have, what seems to be a rectangle or a square on his arm here. So and then this comes down and bring this down here, bring that across, up to the corner, down to the corner there, and across here. And then there's like some more plates and lines and stuff all inside, you know, bolts and mechanically shapes. So, and then like another pipe here, pipes and gaskets and all sorts. And some shadow. squares around the bottom here and then his arm sort of goes travels up the other side then real sort of square straight sort of shape might be another pipe here going down the other side some more lines and things So we have a part that goes up here and then we start the fingers and the fingers are pretty complicated as well, surprise, surprise. So we go up here and we have like articulating joints. So it comes up around, this is the general shape, okay? Like you have sort of these nuts and bolts and things along the edges. Like so, and then some lines like across the top. More lines coming down here. You don't have to do this on all of his fingers if you don't want but I'll just show people who are sticklers for the detail like so and then underneath we have sort of some circular sorry curved lines here come down into his hand like so. And then we have another finger on this side. It goes up and again we have sort of a bolt or something here. And then this finger goes in this direction. Goes around, down, back out the other side. your general shape in here back in and this has like tubes and bolts and things all coming up
just adding these sorts of angled lines as best I can like so all right so then we have like a, a box or something here on the side and like a wrist bone or something that goes in there and a circular line going around and then so this these other fingers as well so two sort of bumps for wheels wheel there and then the top of the finger comes in around and then this goes down and then it comes down the back sticks out down to there we have a bit of a front on it this comes back this way back to there like another mechanized wheel or something here shadow in here something similar on this side bumps up and then sticks out like so I wonder if anyone has made it this far in the video. <laughs> Here, curves across, comes down for place on the side, and like so. So I, I feel for anyone who's trying to follow this, there is there's no easy way to draw Mecha Godzilla. You just kind of have to look at what's there and draw it. So like there's his fingers. So they kind of stack on top of one one another here in this pose. Right, and then there's a shadow inside here. Right, and then, so the back of his hand, sort of in between the fingers here, bumps across, like so, and then we have central line of his hand here, and this seems to have a back portion here, and then like two wheels or something in the middle of his hand, and then another section here, which goes in, both sides like that and then down and another sort of section like this here you're just adding sort of angles So something like that, anyway. that's his arm on that side. So then we're gonna to attempt to add his arm over the other side now, and then we might add some energy coming out of his mouth, but that's probably best done with color. Right, let's go, keep going. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> um, so, right, so there's like an armor plate here. So that's like this place on the other side, okay? And then there's this area, sort of here. Goes in like so. 
this has some extra lines on it like that and then this has some extra lines on it too surprise surprise lots of this armor stuff that you just kind of have to build up with angles that's what it's all about with mecha godzilla you can kind of make up most of the shapes as long as they're they've got like angles on them and then this comes across here down back up there and this comes across here and again we can add some a good bit of shadow So when in doubt, put a shadow in there. All right, like so. And then this comes down like that. Back down to here. And make some more. There. And then all the pipes and stuff we can't really see all of them but we can see some just there and then like this sort of collarbone sort of like area here and then this says like that's a pipe Mostly shadow then here. You know, when I was halfway down his body, I was nearly thinking about stopping recording because I knew how long this would take. But looking at it now, I'm kind of happy I didn't quit. So I nearly quit. So, okay, we just got to do his arm. That's all we got to do and then we're finished. And then we can take a break can take five so like so and then his arm coming down this way right so so we got like these sorts of rectangle spikes and things coming down here for his arm it goes like that and then on this side, something similar. So we go diagonal and then it always reminds me of, you know, like the walls of a castle, like a, like a castle you draw when you were a kid, you know. Like a stereotypical sort of castle walls, like so. And then, so this has lots of pipes and gaskets and stuff on them as well. So it comes up to here, down. Then this comes across back that way. And then another sort of line here. And this comes across underneath. And then we've got something like a pipe or something here. With some nuts and bolts like that a circle and the edge of it and then this goes back further like so and just trying to add as much as I can see now some lines coming up here another rectangular square piece here try and make this a little bit 3d like so and then another
section like so. And then these may have some square tops to them as well. So like, you know, just some angled sort of pieces like this. This comes across. shadow there maybe thicken this up just put a bit of a shadow in here just trying to put some shadows now where I think there should be some just before we finish I know we still have another hand to do but just while I'm here. Okay, so another sort of circular nut and bolt area on his arm right here. And then this comes up like this. And then we have some more sort of circles on the inside. And then, so we have a straight run, sort of on the edge of his arm here. So let's say there's like a rectangle here and then we go up. How far? Let's say to here. And then this goes in and then we bring it back. And then this comes back down. And this is kind of an edge line there to it. And then this side kind of bumps out because he's got um, nuts and bolts and things on this side, like so. And then another nut and bolt like section on the inside. So just add another sort of circle line here. And then this comes around. This will probably end up being the longest video I've ever done. And I'm never doing Mechagodzilla again. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I might. Right, so then this comes up and in. And then we have a line that comes around here for his wrist. Then, right, there's another sort of square shape here. Then another line for his arm here and then some more like nuts and bolts and stuff and pipes and things that go down into his arm so these are like pipes on the edge of his arm and stuff
this marker is wasting. <laughs> um, we'll add some shadow maybe in here. Just adding some more boxes and pipes and stuff coming out here. Where I think they should have them. And then coloring around for shadow. Ooh, man, I'm hitting a wall. Okay, so what can I see here? I don't know. Um, So, fingers, four of them. But it's like the back of his hand, and then, okay, circle there. Start with something easy, circle inside it. And then, <clears throat> finger like, comes across here and up and he comes across this way and then it goes up the side here we've got like lots of these edge sort of bolts and nuts and things top of that finger and this has like extra lines on top here as well finger comes down and into there and on there <coughs> like so and then some lines that go into his hand here, the finger, 
and then the rest of his hand, like the palm of his hand, here. And this has like all lines on it as well. Right, so then the back of his hand. So the hand here. So there's all lines on the fingers and stuff as well. Whew! Man, I'm tired. So, <laughs> keep going. Don't stop. Don't give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Okay. This is another finger, right? Coming up this side. So finger here. Finger there. This is a finger and then I think we have another finger like here so this comes over Back like so down to there and then the wheels of his finger here So I would really like to know if anyone was able to follow this um, or if anyone successfully drew this because it was touch and go for me there. I mean, I'm not going to lie. You know, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. Now we just have one finger left. I know it's not the cleanest lines ever, but... It looks like Mecha Godzilla, and that's the main thing. Nice. One more finger. Come on. <laughs> Come on, oh my god. So, like a square at the tip of his finger here. And then this goes back. This was a marathon. I'm not going to lie. Uh, back here. And finger comes down into there, back. <laughs> Why would anyone draw this? <laughs> oh. This would take, oh my God. I mean, and I'm going kind of fast, so. should be some shadow inside this okay so that's basically basically what am I talking about that is the very complicated um, crazy hard to draw Mecha Godzilla. So now if you wanted you could do some of his breath, some of the atomic breath coming out. Now there's many different ways of doing this right, I would recommend just doing it with colour but we started sort of outside of his face right and so I guess the angle would have to go like wide this way. I might draw with pencil first. So just trying to give him some atomic breath going that direction so Let's just go lightly that way and then sort of, and it should get wider as we go out, right? 
So come in from here. It may go over his hand a little bit, or behind it even. No, it should go over it. Right. So, as well, it could, it could be like wavy, you know, it can be a sort of a wavy sort of line, you know, with sort of energy and dust and stuff going over his hand. And we'll do an interior section as well. So just this. So it's getting wider. Going out this way. Sorry if you can hear like trucks and stuff going by my window. So the road is busy. So it's kind of dust and you know, because he's like a crazy big creature, so. And as well, if you want to like smooth up, thicken up the lines and things like that. Around the edge. You know, adding extra line weight to your edges can sometimes help the drawing sort of stand out a little bit more. But man, I am tired now. <laughs> I was going to do another drawing I was going to draw something else but now I don't think I'm going to be able to oh. okay so maybe some like debris and stuff like that uh, but that's it that's how to draw Mecha Godzilla doing his atomic breath. Woo! Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.